In this video, we will show you the main 3D creation commands and base features in Solid Edge. To get started, click the Solid Edge application button and from the new menu, select isometric part. From the ribbon bar, start the circle by center point command and hover the mouse cursor between the X and Y axis to highlight the plane. Press F3 to lock the plane for sketching. Let's draw a circle with 62 mm diameter and a rectangle with 88 mm width on top of it. At this point, you can select the region or regions and drag the steering wheel to perform one of the fundamental 3D commands called extrude. You can also move the steering wheel to an axis you would like to rotate the part with respect and perform a revolve. In this case, let's perform an extrude with 32 millimeters in thickness. There are many options available in Extrude Command Ribbon that allows you to make modification, such as making your extrude symmetric. Please also note how the dimensions migrated onto the 3D model and they can be used to modify the model. No need to go back to sketch. For dimensions that we do not have, such as height of the rectangle, we can use Smart Dimension. In this case, let's make it 30 millimeters. With the help of synchronous technology, you can simply select on a face and extend it. Let's click on the right face of the model, turn off symmetric from design intent panel, and extend it 50 millimeters. You not only can create regions with sketching, you can also create different regions on the 3D model itself using the line command. Here, let's choose the line command. Lock on the top phase of the model and separate the model into two different regions with the help of synchronous technology. Synchronous technology allows you to make edits on your 3D model fast and easy. We can perform another extrude with a height of 100 mm to make the arm feature. The next main 3D command is an extruded cut. It performs the opposite function as the normal extrude command. It removes material as opposed to adding it. Let's lock on top face of the model. Draw a circle slightly smaller than the first circle we created and two rectangles using the rectangle by two point command and align them using the 2D geometric relationship. This time, we can then select the regions and press on down arrow to perform a cut through the whole model. From the command bar, you can customize the command you are performing, and in this case, we make the cut symmetric. Let's add some rounding on the part to prevent sharp edges from cutting anyone. We can use the round command, select an edge, and apply a 12 millimeter round. Please notice we can round multiple edges at the same time. Many different customization commands are available in the round command, and in this case, a 1mm all round will do the trick. You can also have the option to add fillets, or even use the chamfer command. 
Next step is to create some holes. In Solid Edge, Holes command is available for fast and easy creation of hole. From Options, change the hole size to M10. Press F3 to lock on the front face of the model. Hover around the edge of the model with the round and place the hole concentric to it when Solid Edge recognizes the center of the rounded edge. Finally, we need five of these holes. We can either make them separately or create what is called a pattern. Let's highlight the last hole from the Pathfinder, choose Rectangular Pattern option, and drag to create a pattern. One by five pattern creates the five holes. In this tutorial, you learned about extrude and extruded cut, revolve, round, fillets and chamfers, holes and patterns, and how to use synchronous technology to modify your 3D model.